Hi, I'm Brian with an I. And I'm Brian with a Y. And this is One Minute Transition with Combined Arms. And today we're with General Mark Welsh from the United States Air Force, who is now the Dean of the Bush School of Public uh, Policy and Government Affairs? Yep, Government and Public Service. At Texas A&M. Yes, sir. So you are a recently transitioned military veteran? I am, about a year ago. About a year ago. So what was some of the big barriers that you did not see coming, coming out of the military? I was the biggest barrier. <laughs> uh, I didn't start thinking about it early enough, which, which I would have been my step one if I had to do it again. Uh, and I didn't really think through what I was looking for until late in the game and trying to decide whether I really wanted to go make as much money as I could, or did I want a better lifestyle, or did I want to be closer to family, or did I want all those things. And I think that was the, the biggest thing for me. And I finally decided family was at the top of the list, so get close to kids and grandkids if you can. Come home to Texas, which is just still God's country. Great state. And, uh, yeah, it is. And, and be here before we secede. That was important. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third thing was don't worry so much about the money, worry about the job. And so I'm privileged to work in a school named after a great president who did his job the right way. There you go. There and you so go. it's a it's a thrill. I've always felt that those of us who serve in the military sometimes we get spoiled because we have an amazing job, we have an amazing group of people that we get to work with every day, and you know the, the health insurance, the, the paycheck, the house, all that's taken care of, and then on top of it, a job that really means something. Yeah. And so a lot of veterans when they're coming out of the military. It's, they're trying to find that purpose again. How, how did you find that purpose again? Uh, pretty easy for me, actually. I, I was uh, really lucky because I spent my whole adult life working with people like you guys every day, which was just a privilege. And I get to do the same thing at the Bush School. We've got a whole herd of students in our graduate programs there, and all they want to do is serve their fellow citizens. It's why they choose this college. So having the opportunity to do this is kind of like still serving in the military, and I was honored to stand beside you guys, and I'm honored to stand beside them. That's awesome. What do you miss most about uh, the Air Force? Oh, you, you guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I, mean, just, I wasn't in the Air Force, but it guys like this. <laughs> <laughs> you were in my force. Uh, That'll and, work. You know, I just uh, I had a son who was in the Air Force. I got a son who was in the Marine Corps. Right. Uh, and uh, both grandfathers in the Army. My dad was Army Air Corps and then Air Force. I mean, it's all one big family as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, yes, of course. And if we're not willing to to act that way on the battlefield, it's not going to go well. And we're successful because we do act that way on the battlefield. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for coming yes, out here thank today. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. Both Absolutely. you guys. Thanks for everything you're doing, Absolutely. by the way. So catch us next time on One Minute Transition. And plan ahead for your transition. If you are still in the military, start finding out what you want to do now. Try to find that sense of purpose. And again, like Mark here said, find what is that priority, right? And start honing in on that. And we'll see you guys next time on One Minute Transition.